Hello everyone. This video contains how to draw ladder diagram using Automation Studio software. After opening software, you get window like this. If you look at here, there is no symbol appear in this library. So you need to upload library first. Enter in this option. You get main library here. If you don't get any library here, you have to go to the my computer C drive automation studio software in that library you get main library you have to open it wait till library gets upload after getting library all symbols get visible in library now library is uploaded if you look at here you get the symbols related to hydraulics pneumatics electronics and related to the plc we are using symbols related to plc and electronics to draw a ladder diagram for the plc if you want to change page setup if you want to select more large, large size of page, go here, say apply. Now size of the page gets changed. Now try to draw a ladder diagram for the end logic. First go to the PLC card. Take input and output PLC card. Go to the LM Bradley PLC and pick up the rung. Just you have to click and drag into the window. If you want to increase size, you select and increase the size. So all symbols and ladder diagram is properly visible go to the contacts to draw a rung this is the normally open switch now select other normally open contact switch now select the output coils this one is the output coil let us increase size connect it here now just if you move the cursor on this point that is highlighted just you have to click on this and connect to the other point at the time of connection remember that that red point is converted into the black point so that that connections are properly connected otherwise at the time of running you get the error now we need to connect the input switches that is push button go to the switches let us give name x switch second switch that is y switch which is connected to the input 2 X switch is connected to input 0, Y switch is connected to the input 2, to the input PLC card. Now for the output, we are having different types of output here. That is indicator, solenoid, flashing coil, motors, LEDs, registers. Just select one of the output 
device i have selected flashing coil spacing is prohibited increase the size spacing is not low here now give power inputs to the input card and output card 24 volt and 0 volt connect to the x switch and y switch 0 volt is neutral just do copy paste power supply to the output 24 volt and 0 volt now here we have to assign this normally open switches to the input switches so double click on this you have to assign this switch to the x switch that is input 0 which is connected at input 0 so select input 0 say apply now if you look at here you get the address to whom it is connected it is connected to the input 0 now similarly go to the second switch that is y switch which is connected to the input number 2 so find the input to here say apply close let us increase font you will get one address here which shows that which is connected to the input 0 now for the output coil which is connected to the output 0 select output 0 apply close this here you get the address which is connected to the output which shows the output connected to the 0 if you press x and y switch this will get energized which showing output here let us see simulation click on this green symbol if I press X switch I don't get any output again if I press Y switch both switches now on so that we get the output stop the simulation now again see X switch is pressed Y switch is pressed we get the output if you if any one switch gets on then output is not getting to get the output both switches must be on this is the end logic gate stop this simulation thank you for watching this video like this you can proceed for the trying to draw the other diagram for the different logic gates. Thank you.